is not India. This is South America with Indian flavors. Here we go. Hey, what's up everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here coming at you from the interior of Suriname, South America. We're actually outside of the town of Brunswick and we're driving today south to Achone. It's about an hour and 15 drive. And then from there we're gonna catch a boat and go to an island called Isadao. And that island is on the upper Suriname River. I'm here with my guide, Imaro from Jenny Tours. He's been with me, he's gonna be with me the whole trip. And yeah, today we're basically traveling. We're gonna be traveling, we're gonna explore, we're gonna see it's like a two hour journey. So we might try some drinks, might eat some food. This is Brownsveg, which is a small village along the road. And the reason it's called Brownsveg is because it's Brown's way, you know, Dutch is veg is way, and it's Brown's way to the Brown's mountain, which is the mountain nearby. It's a small place. We went twice, we ate a barbecue there, we went to two supermarkets, and that's it. I mean, there's nothing else to do there. The reason you come here really is to go to the Browns Mountain and also go to Stony Island so you can go fishing for piranhas uh, and then go up to Browns Mountain and go on ATVs and really experience like the outdoors of Suriname. And I think we're stopping here at a supermarket. Uh, gas. Gas, okay, gas, gas. Good. So once you cross Brownsveg, 10 minutes later, you're gonna see the gold mines. This country is famous for its gold. A lot of gold mines around here, you know. This is something that you have to know about this country is they have gold. My favorite part about this road trip here in Suriname is that you don't know what to expect because there's animals crossing the road left and right. I mean, we've seen a snake, we've seen a sloth. What are we missing? We're missing a lot of things. I mean, there's so many animals here. I'm really hoping to see, if we can see it, a snake, an anteater, jaguar. jaguar, something. And yeah, all we see right now is bush, you know, tall bush. 30, 40 feet tall trees, and yeah, very green. This country is so green. Yeah, I'm all about road trips. Road trips like this that are short distances, you know, an hour, two hour drives are the best. Once you pass four or five hours, that, that becomes an intense road trip. I don't like those type of road trips. They just, they're really long, you get too tired. This is way better. Short trips, and you stop along the way. Here to the left, we have an abandoned mine. So he was telling me what they, what they do is, they go in here, they'll mine it, and as soon as they're done or they don't find anything, they'll keep going and moving on and moving on and moving on until they find gold. And when they find gold, you know, they'll exploit the hell out of it. They'll take it all out. And once it's done, they'll move over. All right, we're in Achoni. So basically this is like a tiny village right here on the Suriname River. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna get on the boat. But before we do that, let's see if there's any food here, right? Yeah, the Stiko Bar restaurant. Tico Bar restaurant, Stiko Bar, okay. How to put the sleeve on? I'm burning up. So all of those boats they go to all of the villages in the upper Suriname River. So all these boats go to villages in the upper Suriname River. This is this is hot. This is so hot. So here they have a mix of things. All I see right now is fried banana. What else they got? I need some food food. We have only the noodles. Noodles? And the Japanese food. Okay. Uh, and uh, barbecue. What do you think? What do you think is the best? Uh, I'm gonna ask you, you're gonna have here yeah, local. local. Alright, so we're starting off with a big barbo beer. We got like the, I don't know, the leader right here. I think it's like four beers, five beers each. Prost! Prost! Yes, prost! Prost, just like German. Like, and here we have the food. And the food is made up of noodles. We got some barbecue chicken. And we have some french fries with some mayonnaise. I think I'm gonna just dive on to the noodles. The noodles are the best. Mmm. And they're sweet. Mm -hmm. Sweet sauce. Oh, next door we have the chicken. Mm. The marination they're using. Nice charcoal taste. Oh, this is great food. This is something you can find everywhere in Suriname. When you go around, you can find a lot of barbecue chicken and noodles. For me, the noodles here are just outstanding. The Indonesian influence really has changed the way noodles taste over here in Suriname. That's amazing. Next up, got the chicken right here. Nice barbecue chicken. The chicken is so fresh. Mm. 
It was so good. They marinated with like a super sweet sauce. Testament to the peanut sauce that we've had in these few days, but a little different. And over here we have just regular french fries. I'm good with that. Made to start here for sure the noodles. You gotta wash it all down with the beer. This is the type of setting that you're gonna find when you go around a small, tiny village in Suriname. You know, like small huts. This one's actually pretty nice in terms of a restaurant. Right here with an amazing view. Yeah, you have one, two, you know, eight tables here. And this is all they have to eat. You know, they got the chicken, they have noodles, they have french fries. And that's it. You have a lot of power beer. You have to drink when we cheers. <laughs> People mess up with that, man. Cheers, cheers again, cheers again. This is my food. <laughs> Literally four and a half beers. I only had like a beer. I gave him the rest. I'm good with that beer. I want the Guinness. This is uh, the Bozeman. Malu. Malu. We're going into this food Lin supermarket. What are we buying here? Uh, beer? Buy, yeah, beer because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the island we're going to is like a... It's like a resort island. There's nothing there, so if you want any alcohol, definitely gotta buy it before you go. Water as well. I mean, obviously the resort provides water, but I would suggest taking some more. Take some bread for the breakfast, okay? So I'm getting four Guinnesses for myself. You know, two for today, two for tomorrow. That's it. He's getting four, two for today, two for tomorrow, and then two for the for the boat captain. Let's see. Hundred. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, getting on the boat. Whoa. Oh. Am I the only guy traveling with all this luggage? Intense. All right, let's hit the road. Actually, the waterway. As soon as you get on the boat, I highly recommend putting on your life jacket. You have to. You have to. If you fall off this boat, you have to be ready. There's big currents out there. You have to always have your life vest on at all times. And if you want to, like, you know, basically defend your skin from the sun, you got to buy one of these and put it on like that it's getting really hot it's like getting extremely hot right now cap on all right here we go we got 45 minute boat ride let's do this uh and uh, you can see caimans yeah scaring monkey red hands monkey and maybe like some birds like arons and uh, anaconda turtles anacondas you can see yes uh, but not turtles turtles they are Like Imero was saying, you can see like three toed sloths, you can see monkeys, you can see maybe some parrots, some toucans, and some anaconda. But you can't see some of the other animals like the jaguar that you would have to go like to the interior, the tempir, uh, the anteater, so many other animals. You can also see caiman here, but I mean, right now it's super hard unless you're like on the riverbanks. And there you can see them because obviously they'll be basking, it'll be a lot easier. Right here in the open water, you won't see them. Up river to the very, very, very end, you'll make it to the Amazon rainforest. The Indian food from India is the bara. What do you say? The bara, yeah. But some bara people, the different culture here, make every food from. It's a mix of culture, you know? Yeah. And so she's. Yeah, they got this, the bara. Yeah, Chinese sweet. All right, so I'm gonna try this. So basically, this is the vada, Indian vada, with some mango chutney, but obviously with the African twist. Oh wow. Mmm. Spicy. Nice spices. Love the dough. Oh my god. Let's see you, man. Hey. <laughs> that mango chutney is unreal. It's like the chutney I had yesterday, which is the catfish roe chutney back in Paramaribo. Incredible. The Indian influence here is so delicious. It really changes the way your palate sees India. Because this is not India. This is South America with Indian flavors. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> we just left the village where we dropped off the lady. And as you saw, I mean, it's a tiny, tiny village right here on the river. You know, all these like little kids bathing in the water. And I was asking Imiro, I was like, 
do, but they're in the water. There's Cayman, this piranha, and he's saying, yeah, I mean, Cayman, that's, that's scarier, but for piranha, it's not a big deal because unless you're there with blood or with food, they're not gonna come for you. They won't come and bite you. But if one does get your finger and then opens it up, blood comes out, you have to get out of the water right away, because if not, then every single piranha comes, and that's when you get these huge, massive feedings, and they can't eat people. I mean, they really could, because they go in a mass, they just go in a frenzy and just devour it until his bones. We still have a little bit to go. We have like 15 minutes to go. Beautiful yeah, 10 scenery. Minutes, 10, minutes. 10 minutes, right here. Yeah, and this, if you see this on the map, it's like nothing. If you wanted to go to the very bottom, or the very top of the, of the river, it would take like 15 hours. Like this, 15 hours, no way. To get to the resort, we have to go through a, like a huge current. I mean, this huge current here with all the rocks. So the water is flowing this way, straight out, straight south to where we were. And this is where it like begins to get really, really choppy. And now, we're chill. Look at that, beautiful. And here we have the resort. Can't wait, man. The main reason there's current here is because the island we're going to is an island in the middle of this river. We're finally here, man. Yes, we are welcome. Uh, Isadao. 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 The rooms are right here along the river? Uh, Amazing. Yes. Watch me the... Okay. Do you want to sink? Uh. One, two, three, seven. Okay. Now we're really off the beaten path and this fisherman right here just caught a piranha. Look at this. We got one piranha right here. Big luggage, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Danke. Yeah. I travel with a lot of luggage. Always travel with a lot of luggage. The reason I travel with so much is because I need so many things and I have so much equipment. And the the carry-on is equipment, the other one is just regular stuff. As you can see, it's a small island. There's like one, two, three, four. Oh, so there's like a lot of different bungalows are along the island. The only other island I've been to like this is in San Blas, in San Blas, Panama. It's very similar, tiny island. You got all these like little bungalows in the middle. You have usually like a place to eat. Yeah, right here we have like two or three different places to eat. And that's it, hi. All right, so we made the Isa Dao. I hope you enjoyed the journey from Brownsvig. We drove an hour south to Achoni. There, that's like the, the area where you get the boats, right? So there we got some food. We had some chow, which is basically some lo mein or some noodles. Then we also had some like chicken, some barbecue chicken, really good as well. My favorite was the noodles, barbecue chicken second, and then maybe the french fries, not, not my favorite, right? Then we went to the supermarket really fast, got some beers, and then jumped on the boat and made our way down here. 45 minutes like upriver. Right, so we're going upriver down in South America, or down Suriname, right? The journey was awesome. I mean, the best part about it was the lady behind us that jumped on the, for a ride. She had some mango chutney with avada. It was so freaking good. I can't tell you how delicious it was. The mango chutney that she has rivals some of that stuff that I've tried in India. So freaking delicious. And then yeah, we made it here to Isa Dao. And basically here we have like a 28 room uh, resort. So 28 bungalows, three of them, which are these three, they have two beds and the rest of them, the other 25, have four beds. So you can come here, you relax, you go in the water. We're probably gonna do that later, go in the water, maybe swim with some piranhas. You won't get hit by a piranha if you don't have any blood. <laughs> you eat some food here and you go see the village and that's it. Well guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Isadao, Suriname. What up?